safety and risk. Now, there are a number of reasons why you would not look into either of these treatments, and that's why I cannot urge you enough to seek the counsel, the guidance from a health professional. But from a risk perspective, well, with PRP, you're going deeper, you're using needles that are larger, Microneedles are absolutely tiny and they actually don't penetrate too deep into the scalp. So with PRP, you've got things like the potential for hematomas, bruising, headaches afterwards, infections because you're going deeper into the scalp. And as I said, a bit of pain. Uh, for someone that might suffer migraines or these sorts of things, it could, the headaches could then seed into suffering a migraine or, or, or a more heavy hitting headache. So those are things you get to weigh up. Whereas with microneedling, it's much more superficial if you go into the superficial depths, of course. So you don't have the same risk of bleeding, bruising. I've never seen bleeding or bruising in patients that I've treated because we go at very superficial depths. But bleeding, bruising, much lower in risk, headaches. You don't often see headaches afterwards because you're going so superficially. Uh, and the risk of promoting or prompting a, a migraine, these sorts of things is very, very low and infection risk is incredibly low because you're not even often breaking through into the dermis. So, for that reason, I would rank from a safety and a risk perspective, PRP at a 2.5 and microneedling at a 4 out of 5.